your husband, a big boss. So yeah. why this patch? Why me? And what did you learn today after this practical session? What has to be improved? What did you like? What you did not like? So tell me. My, you know, we, again, we're both in the real estate world. I own a brokerage. Um, and, you know, real estate's going to be slow for a little while. So we, but we've gone through really, really slow times together in the past and our eggs are all in one basket. Our kids are getting to the point where they're almost out of the house. And we started thinking, you know, like, what could we do if we wanted to go somewhere else? And she could do mortgage that way, but I, it's tough to do real estate, as you know, Alex, like out of your market. And so there's a whole list of things which brought me to the trucking side, but um, I get fairly OCD. Mm -hmm. And so I have really just dove into this thing head first. I got my CDL. I got the company lined up. Um, I'm also a guy that likes to prepare and study. And so I started researching just trucking and you popped up on my feed. I started watching you. Um, I then went and researched some others, right? I'm a good reader, a character. Um, that's one of my strengths. I know that you're busy. I know after doing a little more research on you, your background, you've got several fires going, but you're here and you're putting up with people and you're teaching. And so for me, I knew you were serious about it. Um, I knew that you were direct, which I like because, you know, people that tell you what you want to hear, you're not going to, you're not going to learn it the right way. So uh, in, in all that stuff, um, you know, I knew that dispatch would be a huge part of any company that we go forward with. I want to make sure that it, when I really get my company moving, that I know what I'm doing, uh, because I don't feel like you can ever get respect from the people you employ if you don't know. And so that was kind of where it all started for me. Um, I spent literally 40 hours watching you on YouTube. And the one thing I will say is, is I really kind of thought coming into paying for the class and, and I really made my wife do it, you know, because obviously for a while, if I am driving for a while, which I'm gonna, because I got to learn that. Um, I knew that she would need to help me on the dispatch side. Yeah. And so coming into it, I really thought that it was going to be just kind of like your YouTube videos. And I think I commented on a video recently that it is like literally so much more information. It's, it's way too much to process during the class. And I'm not talking like calling people or any of that, but it's more like the business planning. Mm -hmm. And I don't think people realize that this class really encompasses a lot of business planning, regardless if you're doing dispatching, or if you're going to be a driver. I mean, I, th this kind of stuff was a real eye opener and there was just so much more in the class. And so I think people need to realize, you know, like you're, yeah, you're, you're going to get some information from the YouTube channel, but really they should, they should pay the money. You probably don't charge enough to be <laughs> completely honest with you. I know, uh, I get, I because get you're, from you're student, spending hours. Students. Yeah, I, I, I get it from students who understand but here again, this is mission. This is more like my mission to change trucking for the better. So I want to make sure it's affordable. But I think if you're just interested in this patch, just by watching my annoying videos, long videos, you can get the idea. Oh, yeah. You can. Oh, try. Yeah. I you can. Yeah. You can. But there's a, you know, the thing is, I think I realized more than anything is on the dispatch side, you're really managing somebody else's business. Mm-hmm. And that means all the way from, you know, your, your spreadsheets with your profit and losses. I mean, that right now trucking's tough. And so if you don't have somebody that knows that stuff or safety or all the other things that we haven't even taken that part yet, um, but it, you got to know it or else, or else you're going to be doing a disservice to, to a guy that's spending his days in the seat all day. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've just been blown away by it. Um, I'm really happy we did it. 
but yeah. do you like the process because you you like me you don't have patience so you get to the point you just yeah. need to kind of change the game when you talk to some dudes or whatever yeah. so to be faster not losing the most important things but you have it i mean come on you in real estate you've been running other businesses so you have it i see i see you person i can tell you this when market is tough you will go to the point when nobody's like me sitting and telling you because you will prepare and you will know what to do. You will make few mistakes, which you're going to remember for a long time. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be like this because the circle is there. Logic is there. So when the logic is there, you will cut that nonsense really fast. And that's my goal. My goal is not to improve. Hi, how are you? And we don't even have time for that, right? Calling about post load. What do they give me details, right? You need to get. Yeah. But you have enough knowledge to take conversation to the next level. How often do you have this little, do you have backhaul? Did you guys were trying to do that, right? See like me telling that guy, well, I have other carriers, right? So that's what you need to aim for. It's not just about posting truck or searching the load or know how to multitask with load boards. That's why I don't even pay attention to really spending so much time on just load boards because it's simple, but logical thinking, what is important? hours of service and everything else and actually today not even one of you said alex why don't we look at his hours right and i was waiting for that to give that extra star and yeah. say wow how guys we can really do this if you don't know we already started on monday are you sure i'm gonna have enough hours right yeah though there's a lot of little things there's a lot oh. of little things mm -hmm. so maybe before we do this so would you recommend my class yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, get get off your butts and get into this class if this is what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, period. I mean, it's been great. Okay, so let's, before we go to Naui, we are done with phone call, Todd. Don't make that serious. Oh, God, thank you. Because I can't find shit for loads when I'm trying to find. It's weird. It's not bad me either. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's yes. get serious. Serious, smile, smile, smile. You're gonna be on a on the review side. Yeah, nice. Okay, so let's start with um our lady here. So Andrea, why did you decide to become a dispatcher? What is your goal? Why did you choose me? And what do you think after today? Do you like it? Do you need improvement? Did it help you to figure out the steps and get more comfortable? And Absolutely. So um, I decided, so let's start. What yeah, is your background decided, first? What is your background? <laughs> so nothing like this. My background is um, I've managed and ran mortgage companies for the last twenty five years, um, all over the state and region of Montana, of Montana and outside. Um, right now, the branches that I manage, there's five of them in Montana, and we do business across all forty eight, so all of the lower forty eight states. Completely different. Um, just need really just need a change and this spurred a lot of interest my husband and I started talking about what we could do to create a future for our family and logistics and trucking and thing it just had more and more appeal as we started looking into it and then we came across you my husband came across you on YouTube and uh here you remind me of me when I'm on my A game like you're good and so it was pretty impressive to see how like nitty gritty and the pressure and the situations it was real time and we weren't here to mess around like we wanted to know how to do it do it well and do it right so you seemed like the right choice so tell me from beginning of the class without knowledge till today do you feel like i gave you enough information foundation logical thinking the steps do you think that we succeeded to build that strong foundation for you yes i think that i know I knew nothing. I knew 10 million times more than I knew when I started. So um, it was a lot and it was a huge, a huge commitment. But at the end of the day, I know that all of the resources are there or else I know where to find them, I feel like. So that's really all there is to it. And then just practice and getting, making sure I hit the basics, come up with a plan and know what I'm trying to accomplish every time I pick up the phone. So but yeah, today, I was a practice, do. today was a practice. Do you think that it's actually finally finished that circle of logical thinking, multitasking, how fast I do it? Mm -hmm. I mean, of course, you will need to improve. This was, it's, it's hard. It's not your yeah. career. You don't know the details. But still, today, 
Is this the day where you finally think, well, now I see how it goes with the real phone calls, with the real rate confirmations, with real struggle of market, right? Because market yeah. is not at best. So this is extra, what? Extra load war searches, extra phone calls, extra conversation. So do you, I see that last phone call, actually I'm very proud of you because now I feel you and your A game. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, I feel like I definitely, I could do this. Yeah. Of course you can do it. So would you recommend me? Yes, absolutely. Without a doubt. Sounds good. Let's go Sounds to Illinois. California. California. Will we go to California? Let's just look at a few of those. Would we go to California? Uh, probably not with the dry van, right? Probably not for this money. $3,000 yeah. for 2064. Probably not. Not. We not a eh? charity trucking. Hopefully. That's a key load. Huh? Yeah, what is the key load? What's a key load? Key load? Key loads assets to you in another base carrier soon. So view carrier status. So let's see what does it mean. Mm -hmm. So key loads. So again, Siege Robinson, Coyote, uh, XPO gives you what? Performance, right? So you have a different, you can be base. You can be their preferred. So when you oh, have yeah. base, you don't have. So key benefits. So see, you have base benefits and you yeah. have core benefits. So that means you book in a lot and a lot of. So those going to be open if you book the load. So usually they are better paying and that's what they try to do. Just hold with us. If you hold with us, you're going to automatically have a better rate than everybody else. Got you. Got you. So like uh, at RxO, they have bronze. Bronze, silver, mm -hmm. platinum. Remember, they give you extra 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 150. Yeah. Coyote yeah. also have just regular and preferred carriers. So that's what they try to do. They want you to haul with them because the biggest thing is they want to get rid of employees. So they want you to start utilizing all of this. But let's go back. What else was there? I hope we don't have to start all over. Okay, it's still here. So what else is there? Nina, two... Oh. Nina to North Carolina, California, Ohio. Okay, Jackson, Tennessee can work to Gentle, Tennessee. Again, look at this. Core load, core load, key load, core load. So it's locked for us because we do not do enough with them, right? So do, you see, do, do you see how it works here? Yep, even here? yep, yep. Okay, but at least now we saw what? Teach Robinson, right? Yep. Here we have Coyote, offer response. Okay, baby, it's here because I put some response. Counter, deep hair to acne. I said that I want to be in 1300 and they still give me 900. No, 1275. Counter, so this is your Coyote, right? So okay. look at this. That's a load I was bidding on. No, no dad had going to Iowa next day, 900. So if they give me and give me at least 1100, maybe I can do it. But then what do I have to do? I need I to make know. sure I need to make sure what if I am really doing this correct, I'm going to post here and I'm going to check. Are there going to be any loads? Any loads on when? Yeah, from Iowa. On Back. which day? Uh, 30th. No, on Friday. <laughs> on Friday, right? So let's see. Do I even want to go there, right? Do I even want to go there? What I'm going to do? Well, Henderson, Georgia. What else? Pennsylvania. Oh, look at we this. We're in Pennsylvania on a force from whatever. Warehouse hours. Okay. It's lighter. Yeah. Do we want a lighter load? Yes. This yeah. is way lighter than 40, tanker indoors. So calculate for me. Uh 986 multiply by 280 for me, Todd. Multiply? Yes. 2760, 2800. Yeah. Huh? 2760. 2760. Yeah. So 2800. 2875. Okay. Let's see. Your offer has been sent for further review. Check back on my offer page for the response. So remember, we have offers. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is good. 
let's make that offer here as well because again it's what it's kind of we don't have that head right right if you if we book the so let's make the offer for what let's make for the same mm -hmm. 150 right okay submit offer let's see if it's gonna take review let's go back to coyote if we do this your offer was counter look at this how fast 24 15 because i don't want to well close they don't want to pay so 24 15 divide by okay who is gonna make a map because for me remember we can also he needs he needs to be free on sunday we can pick up friday straight through or we can pick up friday with delivery saturday right so we have so let's just make sure do we well, there's have several that. back into wisconsin one to illinois look at this new berlin would be perfect right yeah yeah yeah, yeah oh like... shab again look at this allen express right so this could where, where are you seeing that one huh where's the allen express yes allen express right here shabagan wisconsin right from st louis missouri right this patch so okay, let's probably trucking to pier for tomorrow yes what do you have sir I got three loads in Appleton that need to go to Cincinnati, and I have two loads in Green Bay that need to go to Lebanon, Ohio. Cincinnati, when is that going to be delivering? Following morning at 7 a.m. And how much are you paying for that? Uh, 13. 13. Which uh, company are you with? 897722. Hold on. Let me switch. Uh, 8 what? 97722. Mm -hmm. Two two. Oh, you're reading America looks. I don't think we are set up. So let me look at the map. So it's picking up in the pier or Appleton? Uh I have the one load picking up in Appleton and one load picking up in Green Bay. So it's up to you and where you, if the Cincinnati, Ohio will work better or the Lebanon, Ohio will work better. Cincinnati is a better area, so Cincinnati's picking up. So that one's picking up in Appleton. Okay. Um what is Cincinnati it? pickup is at 10 a.m. or 10 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. or 11 a.m. I have three different loads that can pick up at three different times. Delivery is 7, 7 30 or 8. Finished paper product on skids. 40,000 pounds. Trailer just needs to be clean, dry, no holes, 10 years or newer. And what's commodity one more time? It's finished paper product on skids. Pallets. Oh, okay. And uh, what is your best price on this? Uh, 13 is what I've been paying. It's more than market. Well, we have to do better than everything you've been paying before, right? So let's do. Well, I'm mean, already losing money on every single one of them. Oh, you're already losing. Going. You're already losing money. Well, let's let's do it for fifteen. Well, hold on. just because I'm losing already doesn't mean I want to lose more. Oh, you're gonna make money on the desperate dispatcher. So let's just lose on this one, and you come up with the other ones. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. How about thirteen fifty? It is easy. Market is so low, so. Fourteen Market is not low. I have been getting annihilated this week. Uh, yeah, just this week. But you, you've been doing great for ten months, right? Uh, so... I don't know about that one. <laughs> COVID, yeah. But the rest of this year, it's been just awful. What? Yeah, surviving. Okay. Um, the lowest I could do, honestly, because we already had phone calls and you know not many trucks in upstate Wisconsin. There, fourteen seventy-five. Yeah, fourteen seventy-five. I'll do it. Okay, hold on a second. So you have any rewards in Cincinnati? Not as of the second, but I can. What time? What time are we gonna deliver in Cincinnati? What time do you want to pick up? Ten, ten thirty, or eleven? Um, ten thirty. And then you'd be delivering at seven thirty. Yeah, that's fine. That's doable. And what's your name? Dylan. It's an RMS packet. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I'll fill it out and uh, I'll talk to you later. Is this your direct number, huh? Yeah. Uh, do you want me to put it aside for you? Yes, let's book it. 1475. All right. Let me know when you get that done and I'll send it over. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Okay, that's how we do it. So dynamic logistics, now we gotta... look at this. No buy, no credit. So we Yeah, can... what does that mean? What's the no buy that, mean? That means no buy, they cannot approve them, no credit, the loss will not will not uh, pay for this, right? Okay. So are we going to set up him? Not even because we don't want to get confused. If we we'll get set him up, later somebody calls and, oh, we already set up without checking credit. 
So no, but this is a new guy, and we did check him, right? And he yep. was hey. hey. And he mm-hmm. called us. So what are yeah. you you? And he was getting with the business. I liked him. Oh uh, yeah. And how much was he paying? 14. Well, he was paying 13. Hundred. Uh-huh. And then I asked for what? I thought 1450, didn't you? 1550, right? <laughs> and then he said, no, that I'm already losing. And then we said 1475, right? Did I go way down? Well. He said, I don't want to lose more. Well, it's up to you. Is he realistic? I told him it's not rocks there, right? So now we got to find Cincinnati. Yes. Yeah. So let's finish this. Let's see how the setup goes. Interstate. Okay. What do we do? What kind of mode? Do we do the truck load dry? Yes. Do we do less than truck load? Yes. Do we pick up uh, food? Yes. What else? Do we do? You missed LTL chemicals yes we do do we do plastics yes do we do others yes do go we back have... to ltl uh yes good job none tractors one dry wind one what size 53, 53. one company driver one <sighs> Do we have all this? No, he's a small carrier. He does not have all the certification. You guys know all the certificate. If you don't know, you can click, right? If you're not sure what the hell it is, what is this CT? Click and it's going to tell you and it has a link, right? And I gave you all those certifications so you guys understand, right? I got my twig. Well, now they want at least, at least one origin state to proceed. So should we put... He's located in Illinois. Well, we can go, let's say, I don't care. I usually click whatever the hell is pops up first just to continue <laughs> this, right? So go back. Just do not, do not uh, repeat them because it's it's going to tell you, oh, you're repeating your stuff. So I don't care. Wisconsin, where was Wisconsin? Wisconsin, let's do, I don't really even care. Georgia back to, I don't whatever virginia nonsense okay go to the next one okay oh references yeah i'm calling about a load uh, i got a reference number for you yes please. 207045 welcome kentucky to lacrosse wisconsin yes ma'am Yes. This one is empty cans, 8,000 pounds, picking up on Friday at noon and delivering in La Crosse next day at 6 p.m. Okay, so Saturday at 6. Who is the shipper and receiver, please? Shipper is Saddlekirk in Walton. Okay. And the um, receiver is City Brewing. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? City, Red Okay. And are those firm appointments? Yes. And what did you say the uh, and what did you say the commodity was again? I'm, I apologize. Empty cans. Okay, empty cans. Okay. Okay. Uh, are, 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 those, are those palletized? How are they loaded? Palletized. Okay. There's gonna be twenty five pallets. Okay. Um, it says microphone and driver, and the rate for this one is eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. Can it deliver morning Saturday? Can, can we deliver uh, morning on Saturday, or is that a real strict appointment at six p.m.? Honestly, sir, I'm not quite sure. Okay. I would like to say that yes, but probably if they have an appointment that late, is because it is an it will be the first available. Okay. I mean, the early is available. Okay. Um, do you have wiggle room in that raid if my guy's having to sit around all day? Uh, something oh, around like probably like 1450. 1450. Well, I can do 12. That's a max so far. How, how much? I'm sorry. 12. 1200. 1200. Okay. So that's a hundred dollars to sit all day. I would probably need to really be at thirteen fifty on this. 
What is no, your MC? Uh, MC, MC member. Yeah. Do anything higher than okay. 1200 for now. Okay. But I'm going to enter your face, and in case of my manager is interested, I'm going to give a call back at this number. Perfect. Sounds good? Yes. Are we set up with you? Thank Can you very much. Are we set up? Okay. Sorry. Are we set up? So that's what's going to happen. And you waste two days, and then on Sunday, you think you, on Sunday, where are you going to be? What are you going to find on Sunday? Yeah. Not sure. 6 p.m. Unless what? Unless your driver lives there. Does your driver, where was it going? Where it was, was it going? Huh? It was going to uh, La Crosse. La Crosse, Wisconsin at 6 yep. p.m. He lives 280 miles down. And then what is going to happen? He's going to just deadhead for what? For the charity law just because you do not cut nonsense right away. Mm. Minus five stars. She's, did, did she sound like she knew the shit she was doing? No. No. You're wasting your energy. I mean, you want to impress me with nonsense? You did not, not impress. You made me pissed. So you have to put her in place right away. Sorry, this is kind of doesn't really make sense for logistics. Do you have something which can pick up, deliver next, or maybe delivering on Monday? So why if you, you should have caught that nonsense right away and ask, or we set up, or there something else, or if we can deliver on Monday then, because you can go through, right? Yeah. Okay, so explain to her, because she needs to validation. Show her the map. Show her what you were doing. Share the map so we can see. Well, so this is the best way to learn when you explain stuff to other person. Yeah, that was my problem. And that's why you, as a pro dispatcher, let's say he needs a restart. Well, is it better to make sure that he does restart calls to his home at home or maybe where he has friends or something? You don't want to plan a restart somewhere in the middle. Oh, maybe it's better to take a short load get mm -hmm. loaded fit and restart still deliver on monday so there right. is way more calculation that's why today we kind of put this appointments but now you need to also connect with that hours of service Another thing also mm -hmm. well and when you deal with eastern europeans who fake logbook there is not much shit to <laughs> calculate and that's why dispatchers get used to uh booking loads like that and then when they switch to company which goes by OD, they cannot do it because they cannot even predict the transit. And that's a real reality of this. Did, did you say, did you hear that guy from Lithuania? Oh, we have tracking department somewhere in Ukraine. Yeah, it's not really tracking department. It's your faking logbook department. Yeah. Right? And this yeah. is a big difference. Are you going to be the one who wants to really go by rules and regulations? Because I can tell you this, guys, even in this market, it's better to uh, improve your negotiation and everything else than take chance. One, two, three violations, you build that MC, you put that money, you you try to get to six months and then a few violations mm -hmm. and your safety rating goes down and nobody gives you loads anyway. So in the pan, that's why a lot of scammers, they have other MCs. They don't put insurance, but that's not what I am you teaching you. People ask me, Alex, uh, Gas station, uh, starting from the cashier, but under eight to nine years working as a uh, gas station manager. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a very hard job, not easy job. <laughs> and I had a surgery in the, I think 2018. Uh, I had a stent and my heart to stand. So that's why it's a very hard job for me in the, at the gas station, you know. So in, in between the COVID, I tried to the, change my field. I uh, quit my job to the Toyota as a sales rep. But mm -hmm. another problem, when I got COVID. So then I tried for the health insurance. Okay. So I just, in two, three months, I as a call representative, but they give it to a Medicare patient, you know, it's a very old age, very hard to talk to, <laughs> to these people. So, so then why I... Dispatch? So why dispatch finally? Actually, uh, the, mostly my friends are truck drivers. And the may, Afghani... ask you, may I ask you background? Are you Pakistani? Yes, I'm from Pakistan. Okay. So a lot so, of... But, uh, yeah, but mostly my in, student or my... Um, Co worker are from the Afghanistan. They are truck driving. So, so that's why I 
to so they, bring they, about they look for somebody who can connect with them on the language and kind of feel comfortable so you have a yes, good yes, yes, there yes yes okay yes. so i asked my friend so he recommended to you his friend recommended he said the first i watched your video on youtube so that's i i wish i should go on your platform so but uh, i'm very uh you know right now i'm very comfortable but you are had a, you are a very good teacher and you. Uh, you give it in good knowledge a lot of material so but i need practice more to before to join and i want to become my own boss just like work like that well, you have all the possibilities. I've seen your homeworks. You did the homework. You study. You were present <laughs> in the class. So you do take time. Yeah. And again, you know, you just need to catch up on those skills. And today was yeah. not easy. I'm trying so my best. Yeah, just was under the pressure. Way. So don't take it personally. I know you can do it. You mm -hmm. you know, I know because I, I've seen your homeworks and the questions you ask. And in a class, when I pick on you, so just restudy. Put the things together, get a comfortable setup, and you're going to succeed. But would you recommend my class for people who come without any trucking experience? I would like to my another friends to the dispatch because they want to looking for the new uh, future and just better jobs, so better to the one gig at home, and you can make good money. Yeah, they could make good money. Well, kids, you survive today.